What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So, um, real quick, to kind of go over a recap, the last video that I made a little while ago uh, was based on the new toolbox that I picked up from Home Depot. So this is Home Depot's biggest box that they have as far as for the, uh, the bench. Uh, it is 96 inches in length as far as the bench top goes, and it's 24 inches in depth. So I did not, actually, I got a measuring tape right now. I'll go ahead and measure the height of this thing. We are at 40 inches in height. Now I got the official answer, 40 inches tall by 24 inches deep, 96 inches wide. So that's not including the handles that come along with it. Anyways, back to the toolbox. So I officially have it all set up in the garage, as you can see behind me. This thing is massive. Um, I wish there was a few other variations as far as drawer options go, but I will kind of open everything up so you guys can take a look and see how I have it organized. I have a lot of tools, so I don't know if everyone out there is going to have quite as many, or if not more than what I've got. But you can kind of get a general idea as far as how to organize this thing. There still are a couple extra drawers that I have yet to fill up, and I'm excited for the fact that I do have that space, but I was also a little disappointed as far as the uh, size of the internal of the drawers themselves. What I mean by that is the height. So I had to get relatively creative based on the tool arrangement of how I organized it. So this first drawer here, so... Each one of these top three drawers are only going to be an inch in height. Uh, I just kind of have this for the general items. Everything has a soft close. Let me bring that image down just a hair here so we can kind of take a look. So I've got this toolbox pretty well filled up here, but each to their own. Now the bottom three drawers on the two inside pieces, they get bigger. Actually, I take that back. Bottom four. And the very, very bottom one is probably the, uh, the one that has the biggest features there. And let's get you guys a little closer. All right, so now that we're a little closer, uh, this video is going to look a little awkward because these middle drawers for the top are four feet wide. So as you can see, I got all the wrenches, pliers, needle nose, vice grips, clamps, and so on. That's on the very top drawer. My next drawer I have all my screwdrivers. So as far as screwdriver arrangement, again, each one of the top three are going to be an inch in height for what you have for space-wise. Um, and I also had to get creative with some of my pry bars because the, uh, the handles on my pry bar, like this guy right here, for my bigger bar had a much larger end on it so I end up trimming the end down just to make sure that I can get this pry bar to fit uh, but again it's all based on personal preference now for the big middle drawer this is where I have all my sockets and my torque wrenches so I did put all of my sockets including my torque wrenches I would have rather had my torque wrenches in another drawer but this is a four foot wide drawer there's a lot of space in this thing so, I don't know if you can see this here. Actually, better yet, let me bring it down and take a look. Move this are out of the way. My magnetic sweeper was creeping up on the back of my foot here. So. All right, so. This is a four foot wide drawer. There is a lot of space put a lot, of, a lot of tools and hardware in here. Uh, so that's just, let's see, that was four drawers so far. We got quite a few more to go. So again, this is Husky's biggest toolbox that they have to offer. All right, now for the next bottom two. So the two bigger drawers that are underneath the biggest four foot wide one, we, I put all my wrenches, so one side is specifically metric Let's see if I can hang that down there we go so one side is metric these are some pretty deep drawers 
and my other side is standard. So again, each person has their own particular preference on organization, but based on the tools that I have, this is how I organized it. So I put a lot of my uh, additional box tools in here. So. being stuck into this little box. That's on that left side. Here's one of my empty drawers. There's more miscellaneous tools in that one. And now down for the last side here. Let's rotate. This is the hair. Okay. Top drawer. This is another empty one. where I have all my ratchets. Uh, real quick thing on the ratchets. So these are the half inch size. The one ratchet does rub just a little bit underneath the top drawer on that. So again, wasn't a very big deal for me because I was able to put a lot of the tools in here. And it's still able to soft close without any issue. That was drawer number three. These are all my extensions. Special sockets and other things. So, but again, each person can organize their toolbox however they feel. A little room in that one. Miscellaneous. Last but not least, all the air tools. Uh, this is, again, the Husky 96 inch wide HD toolbox. All right, so now that we've gone through the drawer configuration, as I mentioned previously, if you guys end up buying this particular toolbox or one of the other toolboxes that are similar with the same as the stainless steel top that is on it, you guys will notice this is much the same concept or material that they use on the stainless steel refrigerator tops. So it's probably kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see some of the smudges just from me leaning up against this guy. Uh, you'll also notice like little tiny scuffs here and there. So that's just from miscellaneous items that had just kind of sat up here and got pushed around. Um, so again, recommendation. Get your guys a protective top for it, whether it's a mat or a liner. Uh, I, on the other hand, I don't plan on keeping a stainless steel top. I've been shopping around, and Home Depot even has the, uh, a butcher block that will match up to this bench. I plan on taking this top off and putting a butcher block top onto it, so ultimately to bolt down a bench vise. I'm very happy with this particular toolbox. It serves and feature, covers all the features and everything that I need on it. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can drop a like and subscribe uh, let me know what you think and before I finish up here the last thing that I'm going to point out that I love about this particular toolbox there is a lot of clearance underneath so if you notice I got a lot of stuff that I was able to slide underneath this particular toolbox so for me just by itself that's more storage and it's got enough space under there where if you wanted to slide a floor jack or something up underneath, uh, it's got plenty of room to do so. Uh, again, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think.